Hi everyone and welcome to another class. Today is going to be such a good full body feel good class and we're going to get started on our mats in a four point kneeling position. We're going to start by waking up the spine. So we're going to do some cat cows. We're going to exhale, taking our gaze towards our navel, rounding our back, pushing up out of our shoulders, shoulder blades slide away from each other. Inhale, rolling through the spine, looking up, arching the back, shoulder blades come together. Let's take our gaze towards our navel again on our exhale. Inhale, look back up and lengthen through the spine. Exhale to take your gaze towards your navel, rounding your back, pushing up out of your shoulders, core engaged. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Let's do another two here, just waking up and mobilizing the spine in these movements. Last one. Lengthen the spine, looking up. Okay, we're gonna to come to a neutral spine now. And I just want you to take your gaze towards your hip. So we're opening the side waist and then take it to the other side. So we're coming into some lateral flexion here. It should feel really good for the spine. Gaze towards to the side of your hip. Let's do another two. Last one. Okay, we're going to push back and then shift forward. Getting our energy up for today's class. Waking up the body is going to be such a good one. Not too difficult, but not too easy. <laughs> okay, let's do another four, three, two, one. So just recenter yourself again, making sure that your knees are under your hips and your hands are under your shoulders. We're going to come into our swimming preps now. So I want you to really connect to that core. So draw that belly button in, making sure to tighten that corset. We're going to lift opposite leg and opposite arm. We're going to start with our left arm and our right leg, lifting it up to tabletop and then lowering it down, tapping the mat and then lifting back up. So inhale to lift, exhale to lower. You are keeping that core connection, that foundation. So your belly button is to spine. You're lifting up using your core, using your glutes, using your shoulders. It's a good full body exercise. Let's do another three, two, one. Hold it there. We're going to lower that left hand down to the mat. We're gonna do some push-ups now. So keep that right leg elevated. We're going to lower down, bending the elbows and then press back up. Inhale to lower down, exhale to press back up. Let's do another two. Elbows in towards the waist, last one. Pressing back up. You're now going to flex that foot underneath you. We're going to add a little combo now. We're going to lower down into our push-up. Press back up, lower that right leg to the mat lift up into a knee hover so we're adding a little bit of a crunch there lifting that right leg up lowering down into your push-up lowering that right leg down again and then lifting up so you'll really feel this in your arms and in your core okay let's do another four just to burn up the arms <laughs> last three keeping that strong foundation last two last one lower it down extend that right leg up now we're going to bend it flexing that foot I want you to bring that knee towards your nose and then press it back up again, coming into your donkey kick. So crunch in in the center, and then press back up, feeling the contraction in the glute. Slow and controlled movements. You're really rounding your back as you bring your knee in towards your nose so that you are crunching into those abs. Keep on going for another four. Core engaged, spine straight as you lift that leg up. Last two. 
last one and we're gonna hold it up there now I want you to do little pulses up pushing through that heel so you really feel that in your glute let's go for five four three two one hold it there extend and point that leg and that foot flex and bend so this is a little bit of a brain workout as well getting the flexing and the pointing right getting that ankle mobility let's go for another four three two one hold it out there circle that leg so we're getting into the hip here circling from the hip hips are square down towards the mat core engaged let's change the direction keeping that leg up feeling that in the glute last two last one lower down bring it in press back to a shell stretch <sighs> stretching out the arms taking those fingertips away from you stretching into the shoulders well done well done well done <sighs> your body should be feeling nice and warm now and we get to do that all on the other side again. So I want you to come back into your four point kneeling position. We're going to be lifting our right arm and our left leg this time. So slide the arm and the leg away, lifting them up, tap them down on the mat and then lift up again. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, keeping that core connection the whole time. So the core connection will help you to keep your balance. Let's go for another three, two, one. Hold it up, lower that right arm. We're gonna come into our push-ups now. So we're gonna to inhale to lower down, bending the elbows. Exhale, press back up. Keeping that leg elevated the whole time. Core switched on, belly button to spine. Let's do another one. Flex that foot. Now we're going to lower down, press back up, lower that left leg, lift up into our crunch, into our knee hover, lower it back down, lift that leg. Coming down into our push up again, lowering that leg back down for support and then crunching in the center. So you'll feel this in your arms, you'll feel this in your abs, in your shoulders. It's quite a good full body exercise. Okay, let's go for another four to really burn it out. Last three, stay with me. You're doing so well. Last two. One more. Okay, lower that knee back down lift up that left leg we're going to bend it flexing through the foot now we're going to bring knee towards nose crunching in the middle extending it back out lifting up knee comes to nose lift it back up into your donkey kick flexing through your foot making sure that your hips are square towards the mat okay perfect so we're going to do another four now Let's go for three more. Knee to nose, crunching in the middle, using those abs to crunch in. Last one. Hold up in your donkey kick. Little pulses up, little exhales as you pulse up. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. We're gonna do that little bit of a brain workout. Point and extend that leg, flex and bend. Really getting into that ankle mobility, so important. We get into the glutes here and into the hamstrings. Stay with your hips square to the mat. Focus on pointing and flexing that foot. Let's do another three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna hold it extended, circles now. Little circles forward, coming from that hip joint, and then change the direction. 
last one lower it down press back to your shell stretch stretching out the glutes take the hands away from you stretching up the shoulders <sighs> take a nice big deep breath we're gonna come into some ab work now so lengthen you back up to seated come down into your middle into the middle of your mat your legs are gonna be bent your feet are gonna be flat on the floor We're going to come into our half roll back and we're going to do a few variations there. So I want you to extend your arms out in front of you. And we're just going to roll back, rolling away from our legs, lengthening the hip flexors, rolling back into our C curve. Inhale to lift back up and lengthen. Exhale to roll back down, keeping the feet placed flat on the mat the whole time. Lengthening through the crown of the head as you lift back up, getting into those lower abs, getting into the hip flexors. Let's do another three. Last two. Last one. Okay, we're going to lift that right leg to tabletop and then we're going to lower back down to our C curve and lift back up. So we're doing the same movement again but you'll find you'll have less range of movement now that your leg is lifted. But of course, you will definitely feel this in the abs more as well. So exhale to lower into your C-curve. Inhale to lift back up. Let's do one more this side. And then we're going to lower back down. Lift that left leg. We're going to do the same movement on this side. Exhale, roll away. Inhale, lift back up. Okay, let's go for another five. Last four. Last three. Last two. Last one. Lift it up, lower that leg down. We're going to scissor switch the arms now. So stay back in that C curve. And we're just going to scissor switch those arms. Adds extra weight, so you'll feel this more in the abs. And then we're just going to hold our arms extended, open and close. Just opening and closing them. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Holding isometrically in that half roll back. You'll definitely be feeling this in the abs by now. I know I am. Let's do another two. One. Extend those arms. Let's go from side to side. We're almost done. Get into those obliques now. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Extend your arms, lower down all the way onto your back. Arms come overhead. We're going to come into a roll up now. So we're going to inhale, take your hands to the ceiling. Exhale, roll up. To seated inhale roll back down exhale hands come up and over if you can't come all the way up into a roll up just come into a crunch like this otherwise join me in the full roll up follow your breath exhale to roll all the way down inhale hands come to center exhale roll up Inhale to start to roll down and then exhale, complete the roll down. Okay, we're just going to do another two here. Let's go for one more. Hold up. Bring those feet together. Take those knees apart. Come into a nice butterfly stretch, stretching out the hip flexors. Just lower the chest down. Feeling a nice stretch there. You did so well. We got up those knees. Okay, we're going to come into some sideline work now. I always love some sideline work. So come onto your forearm. I want you to make sure you're pressing up out of your shoulder, out of your side waist. So you've got that beautiful posture. You're not sinking low like you're lying on the beach. You're lifting up. Feet are together. 
knees are bent and we're going to come into our clam so we're just going to lift and lower exhale to lift inhale to lower getting into that side booty pushing up out of your shoulder beautiful posture let's go for another four three two one lower back down we're going to lift up a foot and our knee we're going to shift forward and then shift back flexing through the heel so we're getting into those glutes into that glute there make sure you tap that glute to make sure it's waking up so really feel that contraction in the glute as you take your foot back let's go for another four flexing and extending at the hip last two last one we're going to extend that leg so that it's in line with the hip lift and lower exhale to lift inhale to lower you don't have to lift your leg very high here just go with your range of movement you're doing so well let's go for another four three pushing up out of your shoulder two one you're going to double tap your heel and then double tap your toes so you're creating like a rainbow shape lifting up and over double tapping this really gets into that side booty okay let's go for another four let's burn it out three two one bring it in tap it out lift up bring that left knee over the right lifting up and lengthening twisting towards the left that leg you just worked getting a nice stretch in the glute release that and we're going to do that all on the other side again so come down onto your left forearm feet are together knees are together and bent lifting up out of your shoulder out of your side waist exhale to lift that knee inhale to lower making sure that you're not opening up the hips the hips are staying square to the front of the room let's go for another four three two one close it lift up that foot and that knee shift it forward and then shift it back pressing through that heel so flex that foot tap that glute to make sure it's working really feel that glute contraction as you take that leg back as you go into some hip extension core engage belly button to spine lifting up out of your shoulder let's go for another four three two one extend that leg point through that foot lift and lower exhale to lift inhale to lower you're doing so well let's go for another five four three two one double tap that heel to the side of the mat and then double tap the toes creating that rainbow shape that rotation that's coming from the hip this really gets into the glutes into the thighs let's do another four three two one bring it in take that le right leg over the left lift up and lengthen and then we're going to twist towards the right my nice spine twist lifting up through the spine and twisting deeper perfect release that we're going to come into a nice shell stretch just pushing back our hips down we're going to shift forward coming into some extension take that right knee out to the side in a 90 degree angle so that you can feel a nice stretch in your left hip flexor making sure that you're not bending or that you're not locking out in your elbows you've got a slight bend in your elbows just feeling a nice hip flexor stretch here a nice spine to stress ah i can't speak <laughs> spine stretch 
Okay, bring that knee back in. We're gonna take that left knee out to the side now in a 90 degree angle, feeling a nice stretch in the right hip flexor this time. Just take a nice big deep breath. Bring it back in. Lift up into a pike. Bring that right knee through between the hands. Bending it, coming down into your pigeon pose, stretching out the glutes. Taking a nice big deep breath here, just letting it all go. Nice stretch to end today's class as well needed. Lifting back up to your pike. Bring that left leg through between your legs. And then lower down, stretching out the glutes. Okay, lifting back up to your pike. Lower those knees, come back down into your shell stretch. One last time, take one big deep breath. Rolling back up vertebra by vertebra. Take your right arm up and over. Flexing laterally, flexing the spine and then your left hand up and over. And that's it for today's class, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all in tomorrow's class. Bye guys.